Hi, I'm Tammy Martin, and I'm the Elementary ELA and Social Studies Curriculum Specialist for the Wichita Public Schools. It is my honor and privilege to share with you, on behalf of the Literacy Work Group, that after a year of diligent work and the voices of numerous stakeholders, that the Board of Education has voted to adopt Journeys as our core literacy curriculum starting in the 2018-2019 school year. There is much excitement regarding this implementation as we haven't had a core curriculum adopted since 2006. Examine. Perfect. Journeys is awesome. It has been very refreshing to implement within the classroom. We have a lot of resources, almost too many to choose from, um, but it's a blessing because now we can really differentiate based on every need of every child. So if you want to do a couple for each one and then go back and add things, it's going to be able to fit every school, no matter what kind of students that they have. They'll be able to differentiate, they'll be able to do small groups, they'll be able to um, reach the needs of all students. My teachers enjoy it. They're very excited about it, it just in general, about having something so fresh and um, student friendly. And it has so many of the components that make sense for kids. I like how the words are harder so I can figure out more clues so I know more things when I go to second grade. What are my adjectives? long and brown. I really love this program because it has so many pieces to it. The kids have so many different things in their hands. They're exposed to level readers, there's vocabulary readers, there's a student book. They even have trade books that are pulled in and they get to read out of an actual trade book. I can learn like different um, things in the words that I didn't know about. It's getting me ready for like the big words in college and uh, in middle school and high school. So now, are you ready for the short response? Yep. It covers um, fluency, phonemic awareness. I really love the phonemic awareness piece. Um, it also covers vocabulary, comprehension, all those skills that I feel like our students really need just to be successful readers. Adeline, what do you know about treehouses? What's your treehouse schema? I think my favorite thing about Journeys is the authentic literature. It's just really engaging and I'm a former librarian and so that's really important to me and that's what I see the minute the kids open up the books. I really like Journeys because most of the stories are fun. Most of them are exciting. Everyone, who was it? The principal. Okay. Every week they are always excited about the new stories that they get to read um, because there's one story at the beginning, the read aloud, and then they're excited because it's also paired up with two other of the paired selections. We've really enjoyed this novel study that after the first couple units we were able to take a break and enjoy reading outside of the textbook as well. It says, write a letter to Maddie explaining how her experience helped you better understand how to make a friend. Right now we're reading Hound Dog True, and with what's good reading about that is I like the pig reading where you get to pick if you want to read with a partner or not. And my favorite part of the book right now is when Maddie and Quincy had a sword fight. They're always, oh man, reading is so fun. I hear that from my kids because of the stories and just the interest that they have with the stories. We're gonna go through our level reader just one time because I know she started it yesterday, but I want to finish it. We have really enjoyed using the leveled readers. The way that they're leveled, it gives the, some of our more struggling readers an opportunity to access um, closer to grade level text, and as well as for our um, more advanced readers that they're able to have text that challenges them a little bit more, challenges their vocabulary. It's all differentiated because I have ESOL students, I have special ed students, and I have the general ed, and it meets every one of their needs. In fact, my Spanish-speaking students are helping me to be able to read the words in the curriculum in Spanish. We have a lot of students who speak Spanish, and what I like about the program is they do really have a lot of connections to Spanish, and they give you some of the vocabulary and just forms of Spanish. You know, and those kids are like, yeah, problema, I know that one. Were there any other T words? Oh, look at this one. My favorite component of Journeys in Kindergarten right now is the fact that um, a letter a day is introduced rather than letter a week because it just gets the kids up and running. I also can bring in social studies and science. The lessons that we do, a lot of them are informational based, so we can bring them right on over to social studies and science. Uh, when we did the weather unit, students have got to be meteorologists. They're making their own weather reports and we're gonna videotape those. 
and they can't wait to get that done. The writing, uh, and the writing is amazing because it ties in creative writing and personal narratives and they're able to just write. Of all the characters we've read so far, which one do you think? Every, yeah. Yeah. I'm dying to know why they call him Uncle Potluck. I know. I think this curriculum is great for 259 teachers because it allows us to flex our wings. We have an enormous staff, um, a very talented teachers um, that get very creative. And this particular curriculum allows for that to happen. It allows for every teacher to make it their own. I think Journeys does a good job of honoring all teaching styles. Um, you know, some teachers prefer to, you know, teach in front of the whole group mostly and, and just do a little bit of small group. Um, I'm more of a workshop style. I like doing a lot more uh, small group and rotations um, and centers with the kids. And so Journeys lets me do that. It says introduce yourself and tell hidden powers, interests, or character traits. I feel far more supported, personally, that I'm not told what to do, but I'm also not just pulling things from scratch. As a first year teacher, something that I really enjoyed was the amount of resources that were available with Journeys. I had a sub on Monday, and my sub came in, and she was able to implement it without a glitch. In fact, she even left me a um, sub note that said, Your, this lesson plan was so awesome. I love what you guys are doing. I love this reading program. Maybe it's a topic I tried my best. Book. Yes, you did a good job on that. What about this is a rigorous program. So I see, I, I feel confident knowing that my kids are being challenged. My first grade teachers are so excited about this program. They just want to shout it out to everybody about how excited their students are and about the progress they've seen and uh, the readers that the students are becoming. I know how I feel every week when I'm teaching a lesson and to see that in my students is even more exciting. There's just no really other word other than the fact that it's, it's a good curriculum. On February 20th at District in Service, we will begin our learning about this new curriculum. The Literacy Workgroup is committed to providing a strategic professional learning plan to support you as we embark on this journey together.